The Solar Power Project. Let's get into it. If you're new here, let me take a little Zach Morris moment to catch you up to speed. I currently live in the Congo, and I've ended up spending a good bit of my time with these ladies, the girls of Matamaini, an all-girls home right here in the heart of the city. We work on projects, play games, but most of the time just make fun of my awful French. This project, though, this is the big one. Almost a year ago, I applied for the J. Kirby Simon Foreign Service grant to build a solar power supplement and internet system. With their generosity, we were able to harness something Congo has an abundance of, sunshine, and turn it into access to something I take for granted every day. Access to the greatest tool for education, cultural information, horizon broadening, the internet. So given my general avoidance of electrical projects, I'll kick it over to Mr. Honest Work to cover how the system works. The whole idea of the system was to be robust and overbuilt because it's in an environment where there's no people who are used to this kind of thing regularly available. There's four solar panels fired in series and they produce up to 260 watts a piece. And those 260 watt panels feed down into a solar charge controller, which is a 16 amp solar charge controller. Um, they're nine amp panels, so around 50 amps generation capacity that feeds into a small battery bank that's probably around 400 amp hours. The solar charge controller, the inverter, uh, the battery bank is all oversized and then limited by undersized breakers, not undersized but appropriately sized breakers. So should anyone try to overdraw the system, the cable sizing and everything is overdone. But from the battery bank, it feeds a 3000 watt inverter. That inverter produces 220 volt at 50 Hertz. So the, all their plugs will work. And the cable is underground rated and over insulated. The walls are fully concrete. So it's not like you can pass the wire through the wall. So it's up out of the way as best as you can make it. Congo engineering is the best that you can do with what you have. And I think this system reflects that ideology, except with a whole bunch of overbuilt componentry that we were able to acquire. Thanks, Mr. HWD. To house the battery bank, inverter, and solar charge controller, the girls and I put together a locking flat pack cabinet with the solar charge controller mounted outside to mitigate heat retention. This cabinet also stores the tablets and router that facilitate internet connectivity. And of course, I left the keys with the mamas or caretakers. Hello. 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 